Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Murka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this gospel and risking their lives in these last days. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Ya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italia camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully it's going to be edifying. So this is, before I start, you know, this is a conversation, a message that a friend sent to me. So bear in mind, this man is, I think, is about 58 years, close to 60. And we worked together some months ago. And he's an Italian, but through the spirit, I could tell he was a Jake. The spirit was on me to teach him this truth, you know, letting him know, you know, this truth, who the true Israelites are, the Negroes, the Native Americans, and the Latinos. And I told him that Israelites were spread around the four corners of the earth and how the Israelites, you know, they ruled in Europe for over a, a thousand years, you know, which was the, 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 the so-called Dark Ages. So I told him this truth and everything, you know, things really made sense to him. You know, taught him the true names of the Most High Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So he started praying to this name. The man has a wife, two children, a boy and a girl, and a mother, you know. So every now and then he will come back to tell me how, you know, ever since he got this truth, you know, ever, um, how his family will come against him. You know, so I explained to him and I told him that these are the things we should expect getting into this truth. So, you know, his wife took the juice. And she will always play aside like a demon, you know, come on, disrespect her husband and do all sort of wickedness, you know. But I, I always encourage the brother and let him know that, hey, this truth is not something easy. You know, when you come into this truth, you know, all hell is going to break loose. And so these are actually tests for your faith, you know. But if you can stand all this period or this process, you know, you'll be victorious, you know. So he sent me a message yesterday. And I just wanted to share this message because this message is really, you know, I felt for the brother. I responded to him, you know, encouraged him, you know, but I want to share the message he actually sent to me. So I translated the message from Italian to English. So as you can see, you know, he started using also the Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, the Lashuan Kadash language to write me, you know, so I taught him a lot of things, you know. So I'm going to read, he said, Shalom Akia, which is peace unto you, brother, my brother. He said, how do you know if we are on the right side? Almost everything seems to me to turn backwards, even myself and even those who think more or less like us. You know, the, the, the translator is not really going to translate everything perfectly, you know, because there is a way the Italian language comes and in English, if you should have to translate it directly, it wouldn't it wouldn't come perfectly the way it should come, you know. So he said, "How do you know we are on the right side? You know, everything seems to everything seems like back, backwards. Even himself and even those who think more or less like us. I said, those who think more or less like us, you know, people tend to see that whatever we do, we are actually the ones who are who are backwards, you know. So he says." the news, family members, colleagues, everything tells us that it is we who do not think, okay? So he said, who is right, okay? So this is exactly what's going to come into, 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 into place when you get into this truth. You know, people will start seeing you odd. People will see, people will start thinking you're going crazy, you know, even your family, you know, the scripture tells you that, you know, those of your household are going to be, um, um, I'm just paraphrasing, you know, it says the enemy of one is going to be those of his household. Let's see if I can get it. Enemy household. What's this? Oops. What's this? How do I get this away? (sighs) 
Hope he doesn't come back. What's this? Okay, yeah, I get it. Household. Ah, full. Excuse me. Now let's just try household. I know it's an um, Khan, this is what I'm looking for. This is the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 36. Quotes, a man's foes shall be day of his household, you know. So the brother is actually, you know, going through, is going through this period, you know. All, the, all his friends, his family most especially. So he actually, he also told me a lot of, you know, happenings in his house with his wife and his children, you know. You know, they have this heavy demons on them, you know, ever since they got into this truth. You know, his son would be so disrespectful to him that, you know, he would break, it would, it would break, it would break down emotionally. Then sometimes he would call me and, you know, tell me, hey, listen, this is what's going on in my family and all this, you know. So I let him know that, you know, this is what the scripture actually says, you know. This is what the scripture says, you know. Your, your, a man's foe shall be those of his family. And now, it says the news, the family members, the colleagues. And this is exactly what's happening here in the news. Those of us who haven't taken the juice, you know, we're being painted like the black ships, you know. The colleagues are looking at you so crazy because now this brother right here, he's no longer working just like every one of us in Italy because, you know, in Italy, if you don't have the juice pass, you know, if you're not a juice member, you can't walk, you know? So he says, colleagues, everything tells us that it is we who do not think. Who is right? Where does the devil's persuasion end to go further towards the righteous? Yahweh, the father, creator of all things, how did his son, our Lord Yahweh Shai, not be deceived in temptation? We are lost in this dark sea and we are infinitely smaller than him. Okay, so, you know, I, this message was really, is really spiritual because this brother actually is a writer, you know, he writes books. So I have one of his books that he wrote, you know, and this book is really, I haven't read much of it, you know, I just read a little bit. It shouldn't seem like he, he gave me something and I didn't go through it, but, you know, I could tell that his brother is a jake, you know, he has, his deep no it's not even about being deep you know it's about he knows there is something you know more than everything that they've been teaching him and once once the truth was presented to him he didn't even argue about it if i bring up scriptures from the uh, if i bring up precepts from the scriptures and i show him that this is what it is the brother doesn't even argue he gets the point and i'm talking about a man that's almost 60 you know a well-learned man so anyway Let's get some scripture, you know, like he said, he's having problems with the family. So I told him, um, first of all, I'd like to start from the book of um, um, Luke, which you can still find the same. You can still find the same in, in Matthew, Luke 14. Luke 14, 26. This is the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 26. It quotes, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, his own life. Also, he cannot be my disciple. Okay? So, if you're coming into this truth and you're, 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 you're looking at what your wife is going to say, what your son is going to say, what your mother is going to say, what people around you are going to say, and you're acting through their judgment, man, 
you're not worthy of this truth, man. This truth is, is a one-man thing, you know. We should all walk our, our salvation with fear and trembling, you know. And verse 7, it says, And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after, come after me cannot be my disciple. So whoever cannot bear his cross, you know, because we all carry a cross on this truth, man. We all carry a heavy cross on this truth. And Yahweh Shai, our, our Savior, also did the same thing, you know. He walked the hard path, man. And there is the scripture that says, you know, that the servant is not greater than the master. So what he went through, we definitely are also going to go through, you know. So this brother is actually going through this, this period of difficulty. And once I started reading the message yesterday, the first thing that came into my mind was the story of Job, you know. So I told him that, hey, you should take Job for an example, you know. Job was a faithful man. He lost everything, man. He lost his family. He lost, his, he lost everything, his reputation. He lost his money. He, he lost every damn thing. But what happened at the end, you know? At the end, he gained much more than he could ever imagine, you know? This is how the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai works, man. And we are going to also gain much more than we can imagine when this new if we can make it into this new kingdom man so hey you know these people are really crazy you know these family members you know they come up with all different demons you know try to to make you look like you're the one going off making you look like you're the crazy one this is the book of matthew chapter 5 29 this is the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 21 and it says, If thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is, profit for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. You know? And it says, If thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell, you know? And it says, It had been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. You know what? Well, I'm going to stop here. These two points are the points that I need, man. And what the scripture is actually saying is, If there is anything that is going to, you know, prevent you, obstruct you from getting into this kingdom, you know, man, cut that thing off. You know, be it a wife, be it a mother, be it a brother, a sister, be it, be it a job or whatever, man. Whatever is going to prevent you from getting into the kingdom, you know, cut that thing off, man. Cut that thing off, you know. So we need to, we need to, we need to, well, let's get this book of um, Luke. Luke 9 which we already 923 this is the book of luke chapter 9 verse 23 and he said and he said to them all if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it you know for what is a for what is a man advantaged if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? So if we, if you need to come into this truth and walk this path, man, you need to deny yourself. If you can deny yourself, then fuck the rest, man. If anyone is not coming on board with you in your family, in your circle of friendship, man, cut those people off. You know. You pick up your cross every day by accepting whatever comes your way, you know. And this truth, we, we, we were told that we are going to struggle. We were told that, you know, things are going to be hard. We were told all this right from the beginning, you know. So, this is the book of... Um, 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 this is the book of Matthew 7. You know, because we were told that things are going to be hard coming into this truth. It's not just a, a easy road. You know, this is like a marathon. Like I always say, 
this is like a marathon and you know we get we are actually at the end of the race you know everyone gets tired but you just need to keep going man this is the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 13 it says enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat and it says because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it let's go into the root word of you know straight this is the word straight and it says tenos strong's g 4728 stenos okay it's stenos stenos okay and he tells you narrow straight you know We don't have much from this, but it tells you narrow, you know, tells you from obstacles standing close about, you know, there are going to be lots of obstacles in this way. You know, let's see what the baseball says. Anyway, coming into this truth. We should be ready to face obstacles you know which there are going to be a lot of obstacles you know so we should go in through the narrow way man you know let's go back to what the brother has to say you know You say, what does it mean to have faith without an apparent fixed point? You know, you know, we just spoke about other things. You know, faith is the is the is the evidence of things hoped for, things not seen. You know, I'm just paraphrasing. You know, so we are actually expecting and hoping on on a kingdom that you know people cannot physically see with their eyes, but we can see through the spirit. You know, so you're not you're not on the same level with those people outside this truth. You know. People in this truth, they see with a different eye. And those outside this truth, you know, they are blind, man. Just like the book of um, is it Isaiah 44. There is also one in the book of Romans, I believe 8. This is Isaiah 44. This is the book of Isaiah 44. And it's verse 18. It says... They have not known nor understood, for he had shut their eyes that they cannot see, and their hearts that they cannot understand. You say, and none considereth in his heart, neither is their knowledge nor understanding. You know, the most high has actually shut their eyes, you know, he has he has he has he has shut their hearts so they cannot understand. So we are not on the same level. Those who are in this truth and those outside this truth are not on the same level. That's why you shouldn't you shouldn't let this energy, this negative vibe that all these people push to you that you're crazy. Man, how are you going to leave that your job for 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 for, for whatever? You know how are you going to how are you going to do? Why why do you believe in what you believe? You know you you're crazy, man. You should live life. You know all these things. You know. They're living on a different vibration. When you come into this truth, man, you're a different. You're a different man. You're made new. You know, you don't have the same vision as the world. So you shouldn't let these people, you know, push so heavy on you. They are evil and wicked. You know, energy that they push. You know. So let's see. You know, he said a lot of things. You know. He said. I am afflicted. I am losing my wife and my family, my job and all certainty because I try hard not to send my mother to the nursing home and to the third dose, you know. So it's not really the way it came out. You know, he said he's losing, he's afflicted, you know, he's going through a hard time. He's losing his wife, he's losing his family. And yes, I can understand why he said he's losing his wife and his family because his wife has taken this juice and she has been a demon to this man, man. He would call me, he would write me that, hey, this is what he's going through with his wife, man. His son 
and his daughters, you know, they become like demons because they also took the Jews. So, you know, there is a separation in, a, in the family, you know, and that's what the scripture says, you know, there'll be a separation, you know, the, the, a man's foes, um, a man's foes, I'm just, you know, paraphrasing, foes of it uh, are going to be, a man's enemy are going to be of his households, man, you know, so all this separation the Most High is actually making, you know, his mother already took two portions of the, of the Vicky Venom, you know, and she's about to take the third one. So how can you be living under the same roof with all these kind of people who are really going crazy, you know? They're going to definitely, you know, press and push upon you, man. So this is what the brother is actually going through. You say, he says, my family is opposed, you know? May the Lord help me, help us, each with their own difficulties and their own fate, help us. Times are getting harder and harder, you know? Everyone has different difficulties, you know? When you come into this truth, the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to test you, man. It's not an easy run. It's not it's not an easy whatever. It's there is nothing easy, man. You know, you're definitely going to be tried in this truth. So this is the trial that the brother is facing, you know. He's facing his own trial through his family, through the whole situation, he's losing his job. And this man really, I give him so much respect because, you know, um, for an Italian man to leave his job. Is something really like crazy man so ever since i've been teaching him this truth you know he was going out to make his own researches and he's seen all those things man the man is give he has given up his job man not to take this juice because here in italy if you don't have the juice you can't walk you know and people his family are definitely going to say you know this man gone crazy man he's mad you know but you see Jake's out here, you know, Jake's, Jake's don't even think, man. The people who have taken the Jews the most here in Italy are the real Jake's in, in, in Italy, you know. The so-called immigrants, you know, they all take this juice, you know. Because now it seems like the, the, um, there is so much more job opportunities, you know. They start calling people for different jobs, you know. So those Jake's who've been looking for jobs, you know, they call them and they're snared now. You know, they give them jobs, but they have to be juiced up, you know, because a lot of people give up this these jobs, man. So he said, I needed an outlet, dear brother, because I know that you are strong more than me, closer to the Lord, probably. Ah. So, well, you know, the most I have, Hashem, Shai tells us, you know, to uplift each other, you know. This is the brotherly love that we have between ourselves, you know. When a brother is down, you know, you uplift him with his words, you know, because these words are actually what gives life, you know, and these words are actually, you know, what should comfort us, you know, just like the book of um, um, Isaiah 33. Isaiah 33, I think it's verse 6. He quotes, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, is his treasure. You know, this truth that we have shall be the stability of our time. When people start bugging out, you know, when people start giving up, you know, we are not going to give up, we're not going to bug out because, we you know, we have this truth, man. So this truth is going to be what makes the difference, you know. So... When you come into this truth, man, things are really going to change. People are going to go against you, your family, your friends, you know. So this is how the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has programmed it, man. This is the book of um, oh, John 3. John 3, 19. This is the book of John chapter 3, verse 19. And it says... And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Okay. For everyone that doeth evil hated the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, the world, majority of the world, majority of our people, they hate this truth because they prefer to remain in that darkness, in that ignorance that they are. They don't want to come into knowledge, you know. 
because they know that once they have to come into the knowledge, you know, it requires some works. It requires change. It requires unlearning and relearning. It requires effort, you know. It requires studies. So people are lazy about this. They don't want to do this. They don't even want their wicked deeds to be reproved. They prefer to, to remain in darkness. Okay. But hey, judgment is right at the corner. And you know, it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know? So, well, I just wanted to share this, you know, this message. You know, I hope it was edifying. And, you know, I edified the brother actually, you know, sent him a long message. You know, we're still going to speak on phone. You know, because this is what it is, man. We should exalt each other in these times. You know, may the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai be with each one of us, you know, and give us the strength to carry our crosses, you know. So, hey, I would like to give all praises to the most high Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and trans, um, peace and peace and um, peace to the hopeful elect of Israel. Okay, sorry, I actually lost my train of thoughts. Shalom.